Yarna Bees. How are you today? Today, I am going to show you some uh, yarn that I got in the mail. Uh, I can't remember whose video I saw this on, but as soon as I saw it, I knew I had to have it. Um, I am absolutely in love with the... Hmm, Bernat? Is it Bernat? No, it's Super Saver Brushed. Uh, you get it at Walmart, and I think I think you can get it at other stores in the States now. Um, it used to be in Canada, and you couldn't get it in the States. Now you can get it in the States. Uh, but I know, like I know our, Wal all, uh, the, our Walmart has it. Um, but it's, I love that yarn. I absolutely love that yarn. I don't have one in front of me. I, I put the, the brushed that I had in the, uh, boxes that I sent out, um, the mystery boxes. So I don't have one to show you, but, uh, it's got a halo. Okay. And it's very soft. Um, I really, really, really like it. So I can't do the stats a comparison because I don't have one in front of me. But um, that's not the yarn that I'm talking about. This yarn came from Hobie. I haven't done a Hobie order in quite some time. So, but as soon as I saw this, I knew I had to have it. Although I did think that the skeins were bigger than this but they're not because when they say extra large on it you're thinking bigger skeins bummer anyways this is called fluffy day okay why it's called extra large i don't know because these are just regular skeins so i know that there's another fluffy day um, I don't know if it's thinner than this or not. Maybe that's what it is. But anyways, it's 100% premium brushed acrylic. la -ti da So, um, because this is in a different, let's see what I've got here. It's a four. Ooh. For medium and there's a hundred grams 140 meters 153 yards okay and these don't have a color name but it's color number one it's white but look at that isn't that absolutely gorgeous now yes it's probably gonna pill after you know some time of use but it is premium acrylic so it's going to be interesting to see uh what what happens <clears throat> uh it says you can wash it but it's i think that means that you can't dry it is that what that one means right there i don't know um i put my stuff in a delicate wash or in a delicate dry so i don't know we'll see how it goes because i i put the brushed in there and it works out fine so who knows um so i went ahead and i got how many one two three, i think i got four i think i got four of each color because i wanted to see what it was like so yeah so i got four of those and then i got this color now i'm not usually a pink person my mom is a dusty rose person she loved dusty rose she had it all throughout her house i mean you walked in there and her bathroom her living room her kitchen was all dusty rose um yeah she loved dusty rose now because the light's coming in here, it's looking very, very pink, but it's kind of 
like that. Um, <clears throat> so I got four of these. Oops, four. <laughs> and then, like, I want all the colors. Just saying. Um, this, I love this color. This color, it, there's, between these two colors, it's closer to that color that my mom liked. It, it's like a little bit lighter than this and a bit, bit darker than this. That's that's the color my mom wanted, or my mom liked. Oh, uh, this color is number 13. This color is number 16. And you know I had to get it. I'm Anything that comes close to burgundy or a dusty rose is my jam. Okay, so I had to get this. So I got four of these. And I think these colors are going to look really nice together. Who knows? Maybe I'll make a cardigan. And then this color, whoops, is not my color. But for some reason, like right here, green. I'm, I'm not a huge green person. But I don't know, army green and stuff I'm starting to get into. Uh, dark greens, like jewel greens, those colors I love. But this, like, and sage greens, I love sage green. But this color, I don't know. It's like, I thought it was going to be more sage than it is. But this is color number 23. It looks like a Kelly green in the camera, but it's it's a bit darker than that. I can't, uh, yeah. But yeah, like, I I don't know. I just thought I would try it. Um, but I mean, like I say, it's a little bit darker in, than this in, um, I don't know, maybe it'll come up when I, oops, edit the video, maybe it'll, be the right color so this color number is 23 yeah I said oops that one's a little worse for wear so yeah but you know what like I I um I just love this now this isn't quite as squish it's not quite as soft as the brushed which Kind of shocks me considering that the brush is super saver and this is what is this turkish designed in denmark made in turkey yeah this is turkish yarn usually turkish yarn is really soft this one has a little tiny bit of a plasticky feel to it but it's still really nice uh, maybe it's the chemicals that they put in the yarn that I'm feeling. I don't know. It will probably soften up when it's in the wash. Um, but it is really squishy soft. It's just got that kind of weird feeling to it. Um, but like I said, it could just be the chemicals and it could be that it will, that will go away once it's been washed. <clears throat> But I am really, really loving whoops, these colors. Get in here. Ugh. I mean, it's kind of a springy, spring color theme, isn't it? Hmm. Spring cardigan. I just had this idea of a striped cardigan. Hmm. I have to think about that. <clears throat> now, I, whoops, when you sign up for Hobie, you get points. And they have a points store where you can get stuff for free with your points. So I've never, I've never used a lot of my points because there hasn't really been a lot in there that I've been wanting. 
um, that I haven't really been interested in. But I have to use up these points. <clears throat> so I decided to get these. Um, they're tapestry needles. Oops, let me open this up a here. And I'm always in need of tapestry needles because, you know, the couch tends to eat them. Just me. So I got these ones. And they actually look really good. They're a bit short, but the point on them, it's not sharp, sharp, but it's sharp enough that it will go through. I hate that with the metal ones that they're dull on the end, right? And you have to really work to get them through. These are very pointy. So those are actually going to work out really well. So I got three packs of those. And then I'm always in need of buttons because I make baby sweaters and stuff like that. So I got these and I thought they were really cute. So there's eight buttons in a pack and they are, you got the four holes <clears throat> and they're 21 millimeters. So I got one, two, three, four packs of those, right? Because I can always use these on a baby sweater for sure. And they're really, they're, they're really pretty looking. They've got little hearts. I don't know if you could tell, but there's, they're hearts that are around them. Uh, yes, no, maybe. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, but they're little hearts that are <clears throat> go all the way around them. So I thought that would be really cute for the sweaters. Now the, does it say on here? Mm, it doesn't say. But these, I think, were they on sale? I don't remember. I'll put somewhere on the screen, I'll tell you how much these are. Um... Yeah, it doesn't say. <sighs> I hate that. But, yeah. But I am so excited to use this. I can't wait. And it seems that spring is around the corner, kind of. Although, like said, I just did a video and she's like up to her neck in snow. <laughs> I just... Whew. But she's in Alaska, right? Um... So I'm, I'm looking really forward to using this, uh, but I'm definitely going to make a sweater of some sort with this. I have to, right? I just have to. So we'll see how it goes. I'm so excited. Yes. But I definitely want to get all the colors of this because it's just, come on, it's haloed yarn. I, every, I love anything haloed. <laughs> I'm a sucker that way. <laughs> Anyways, that's all I've got for you today. Thanks for joining me. And I will talk to you later. Okay. Bye.